Hello students, we will continue with the rational number chapter 1 that is exercise 1.1 1. 1. Here we can uh, today solve the question 6 The first question is multiply 6 by 13 by the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16 Solution. Solution we will see. First we will write what is the reciprocal of minus 70 minus 7 by 16. First we write that is reciprocal reciprocal of minus 7 by 16 will be equal to first write that is minus 16 then minus that is numerator will become denominator denominator will become numerator this is called the reciprocal of the given number now we will take the other number that is 6 by 13 6 by 13 into they have asked to multiply these two therefore this reciprocal of uh, 7 by 16 is minus 16 by 7. So multiply these two. What we will get that is 6 into minus 16 by 13 into 7. This will become that is minus 96 by 91. So this is the solution for the first problem. That is the question 6. First we have to find the reciprocal of this number. Reciprocal is that is uh, 7 is numerator it will become denominator 16 is in denominator it will become numerator so minus remains the same so then we will multiply it by the other number then we will get this answer so we move, we move on to the question 7 tell what the property allows to compute this so we have to solve this so which is the property we are using so here we will just write what is the property they are using here. So we have this one that is A into B they have used this one that is A into B into C equal to A into B into C. This is called associative property. So for example consider this one 2 into 4 into 3 equal to that is again this will become A, this will become C and B, this one C. Again this one 2 will become uh, come outside 2 into that is 4 into 3. So this is A, B, C. Only the order is changed but the result will be same. So 2 into 4 will be 8, 8 into 3 therefore 2 outside 4 into 3 12 that therefore 8 3 is a will be uh, 24 this 2 into 12 will be 24 so even the position of the numbers is changed the result will be c so both the cases we get 24 that is a into b into c is equal to a into b into c so similarly here also we take this one as a b c same thing they have done here a b c so a a is outside b into c is inside the bracket here also a into b is inside the bracket then c is outside so we will multiply this and c will get the same result so this property is called as associative property the property here used is called we can also write associativity property or associative. So here we will solve this. That is 1 by 3 into that is 6 into 4 by 3. Here in the first case 3 ones are 3 twos are. This will become that is 2 into 4 8 in the numerator. 1 3 is remaining. So this is. 8 by 3 in the first case that is 
this one is a into b into c this one next we'll take that is 1 by 3 into 6 1 by 3 into 6 into 4 by 3 this is that is a into a is outside the bracket into sorry this one is a is inside the bracket a into b into c now we will solve this that is 3 ones are 3 twos are therefore we get 2 into 4 is 8 3 is remaining therefore in the both the cases that is a into b into c equal to we got 8 by 3 then a into b into c we got 8 by 3 so the orders are changed but the result in both the cases is same therefore finally we write here the property here property used is associativity a s s o c i a t i v i t y associativity or associative we can write so we move on to the next problem that is question 8 here a is 8, 8 by 9 the multiplicative inverse of minus 1 1 by 8 y or y not so we should just see in a solve and see whether 8 by 9 is the multiplicative inverse of this mixed fraction minus 1 1 by 8 first the solution is we will solve this mixed fraction how this can be solved that is minus 1 1 by 8 how to bring this one into the fraction form first multiply 8 into 1 you will multiply 8 into 1 then add 1 so 8 into 1 is 8 plus 1 is 9 9 by 8 will become in the fraction point first we have to convert this mixed fraction into the fraction form we got minus minus remains as it is keep this minus 9 by 8 then next point is take this that is 8 by 9 then again we have to solve take this this we converted into fraction form then a minus 9 by 8 multiply means we can solve this this one this one cancels but we are getting the result as minus is there 1 so minus 1 is not equal to 1 in order to prove this as a multiplicative inverse we should get the answer as 1. Here we are getting minus 1. Therefore, finally we write 8 by 9 is not the multiplicative, multiplicative inverse of that is minus minus 1 1 by 8 that is in the bracket this one is 9 by 8 so because the product of 8 by 9 and minus minus 1 1 by 8 that is in the bracket this is equal to fraction form minus 9 by 8 is not 1 so this is the solution of 6th 7th and 8th problem students if you have any doubt comment me in the comment box subscribe my channel thank you